Namaskar, dear Akriti. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Vastu Mahotsav. So during this September, uh, we are celebrating the month of Vastu, sharing some interesting information and interviews with experts like you about this amazing Vedic knowledge. So, okay, now this may be sound a little bit strange for you. People from Western countries like us talking about Vastu, uh, especially from South America, right? So, but here we are. Thank you so much for having me here and the part of this session. I'm extremely grateful. Excellent. So, oh, I think in this situation, we can apply a very known expression that says, uh, we cannot cover the sun with a finger. So I think India, especially Vedic culture represents the sun. So even though India is so far away from our culture as Latin Americans, but still, uh, the light of Vedic teachings slightly is touching the part of this world. So we are so fortunate to have you here on this episode. Thank you so much, dear Akriti. <laughs> same here, same here. Thank you so much. You too. Yeah, excellent. So I would like to start asking you, well, the very important question. So what is Vastu? See, what is Vastu is basically it's an ancient architectural science which tells us about some architectural patterns or tells us about how a building to be how this a specific building needs to be built up and it uh, shows us it tells us some set rules and principles through which olden temples magnificent temples used to be built you know so it basically tells us set rules and principles of building our structure basically and if we focus on this term what you, which you asked you know that is Vastu. What is Vastu and what is Vastu Shastra? The basic terms. So basically what it means is that Vastu is a Sanskrit word mm -hmm. in which Vas means to live and to means you. Mm -hmm. So means a place where you live or dwell. Basically this means Vastu. Okay. And second thing is Shastra. You definitely be coming along with this, you know, word Shastra, Vastu, Shastra. So Shastra is a text which contains set rules and principles. So if we combine these two words, Vastu and Shastra, this tells us a set rules and principles of this whole science, of architectural science, which is used since ages. It's about 6,000 BC. This is old, this much old this is. Mm -hmm. And this knowledge of Vastu, we get this from Vedas, through which we get from, uh, you know, this uh, yoga and Ayurveda knowledge. We get same knowledge from these texts only, these Vedas only. So this is basically a Vastu. And if we, in short terms, in simple terms, if we explain Vastu is that place right things at right places, you know, giving them placements at right places, right things. So this is all Vastu is. Amazing. So that's it. Excellent. Now, some people may think, okay, these signs come from India, from the rishis, mm -hmm. these sages and this culture. Mm -hmm. So is this science of Vastu only for India or... Uh, any culture or anyone around the world can use it? No, no, it's not just India. <laughs> it's yeah. not at all about just India. It's about the whole world, you know. See, whether we know it or not, but five elements are present in the whole of the universe. Yes. Or universe is made with five elements, Panch Bhutas, we call it, right? Directions are everywhere, north, south, east, and west. Mm. These four basic directions everybody is familiar with, right? So directions are there, five elements is with whole universe, our body, every living thing is made up of. So wherever five elements are present, Panchbhutas are present, directions are present, energies are present. Energies is how you feel mm -hmm. when you visit somewhere, you know, when you meet somebody, so this is energy. So this, this is present everywhere. These things are present everywhere. So when these things are present everywhere, so why just Vastu is being followed in India only or is just an Indian science? No, it's been followed by the whole of the world. So basically, a science which should be followed in the whole of the world you know, to get benefit from it. Excellent. Yes, uh, as, as you mentioned, everybody has the uh, five elements, the universe, yeah. the macro and uh, macro and micro universe. So it's, it's amazing. Now, you mentioned that this science is very old, right? Now, wh what yeah. is the difference between the old days and this present time? So how, how this Vastu have evolved, basically? 
see the base will always remain same mm. so basically which doesn't change is five elements directions won't change energies the flow of energy won't change right what changed is how we start living our way of stand of living is being changed that's it like for example you know for uh, earlier times technology was not there at all mm. so in today's time we use technology in our home in our building structures too much in earlier times it was not like that people used to live simple life even not just in india in other countries also it's not yes. like that because technology was not there too much so because of technology also the evolution of this whole science is being little bit changed how people apply this science in their structures their building structures or in their architectural structures and other thing is uh, in earlier times people used to think that if we take an example of a plot size you know so they used to think that we should always opt for you know proper square plot hmm. proper rectangular plot why because there should not be any single cut to it if hmm. there is a cut like some plot is in a regular shape so they uh, you know uh, thought of that okay this plot is not in good use we cannot use this plot this is not a precious one but in today's time we all live in flats basically mm-hmm. apartments mm-hmm. flats mm-hmm. bungalows different different in which it is not possible to have proper square proper rectangular or proper in shape plot size you know so the application of vastu principles get different in that way so that mm-hmm. it can fit in today's world's demand like that but it's the base will always remain same the mm. application the rules and principles will always remain same they will not be changed at all okay yeah and it seems that problems are timeless i mean no matter the era or time we always need uh, to solve many issues as humanity right so actually dharma artha kama moksha we need to solve that and i think with vastu is the best way right yes 